Hi, Yvette. It's been a little, it's been a minute it's since the last minute. time we talked. Yes. Uh, big Shot, I love your character in the show. You work so well with John, and it's almost like the character's very similar to John's character. But in season two, we're seeing a lot of changes. Yes. What has it been like to come back and also to deal with this new, uh, these new changes, especially with boys coming to the school? You know, it feels like it's a whole new show because last season, you know, it was all about girl empowerment and, and it, the show is still about that, but we could focus completely on that. And this year we got those pesky boys around, so we have to also work on their growth as well. So it completely, you know, kind of upended what the show was. And um, I think it brings out a lot of really, of course, it brings out a lot of different things in the girls, but it also brings out a lot of stuff in in, in Marvin Korn, John's character and um, Holly's, uh, Jess Jessalyn's character, Holly. I think we find out different things about each person because of this one shift in the show. Mm -hmm. And that dynamic between you and John, uh, very much similar characters, but yet different because you both have one goal to get to. Yeah. And I love the dynamic. What was it working with him in the first season? And what did you add for the second season? I mean, he's a delightful human. And, and so I don't think John Stamos has ever met a stranger. And so when he comes in a room, it's it's he's coming in already as like a cuddly puppy when you meet him. So it's so easy to just immediately get into, you know, having a rapport that is that is fun to watch. And he and I have now since we worked together, you know, in the first season, we've become friends off screen as well. So all our friendship comes with us as we came into the second season. And so we've got inside jokes and stuff and there's things that he'd say or do that reminds me of something he said or did before. So it was it was a lot of fun getting to step back into these characters and have that back and forth with him again. Yeah, and uh, with this, for you being a part of this Disney show, which has just been well-written, David E. Kelly, mm -hmm. great script. And it's been a great first season, second season, when you got the script, how was it to prepare? And is it just easy to get back into the role or was it a little difficult this time? It's easy because it's Sherilyn is a, is a lot like me and a lot like my mom. So it's, it was easy for me to just kind of tap into, into that. And then also the show this year is, is 30 minutes instead of an hour or 45 minutes. And so it's a, it's a quicker pace. It's a peppier show. So we're telling stories in a, in a slightly different way. And I felt more empowered to be a little sillier as Cheryl Lynn. So there's a lot of really interesting things that I got to do. Uh, a lot of interesting choices I got to make that no one stopped me, which was really great. So I think she's a lot more fun to watch. She's a little less scary. She's a little scary the first season. Some of the times with her, she was just like this. And and there's more of a twinkle in her eye this year. And is that, was that more real comfortable for you for to be able to be able to have her a little more toned down and more ha happy? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I, I, I will play whatever I am given to play. Like, I, I believe in our writers and um, Dana, our showrunner, is amazing. But I do, as a person, I like to be silly. I'm a silly person. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm yeah. I'm silly in, in hopefully the best way. And so anytime I get to imbue a little bit of, of my, uh, mis I, I believe in a little mischief and a little ballyhoo. So to be able to drop a little bit of that even in, into a character that is so by the book and serious was, was really lovely to kind of broaden who she is a little bit in that way and a fun question just to end it all in 2019 we talked about big shot yeah. uh, at the at the film independent awards mm -hmm. and i asked you have you been able to see john's disney collection yet and let's <laughs> now that we've had three years has he shown you his disney collection yet you know what's funny i still haven't made it out to the compound because we're in the middle of covid we're in the covid <laughs> So I haven't, and there's, he's had gatherings and other cast members have gone, but I'm a caregiver. So I've always been very serious about not gathering unless I absolutely have to. But when I tell you we get the COVID clear, if it ever comes, I'm going to look at the Dumbo ride and, and everything, because I heard he has everything over there. If anything's missing from Disneyland, John Stamos has it. Yeah, exactly. It. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yvette, thank you so much for being a part of uh, thank you, Michael. our 10th anniversary. Thank you. So great to see you. Thank you. you. Oh,